listen. These tales have transported us to places that could only exist in pure imagination. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our top 10 fantasy worlds from TV and film. Number 10. Westeros and the Seven Kingdoms from Game of Thrones Kicking off our list is the fictional continent located far west of the known world. Westeros is made up of seven unique kingdoms that have existed for 12,000 years. A king who sits upon an iron throne rules the entire continent, with a few exceptions, including the haunted forest and the frozen shore that lies beyond the wall to the far north. The continent's inhabitants include humans, ice creatures called white walkers, fairies called the children of the forest, and mythical giants. Winter's coming. Gods help us all if we're not ready. Number 9. Florin and Gilder from The Princess Bride Inconceivable! This cult favorite film is also based on a literary work. It was the book my father used to read to me when I was sick, and I used to read it to your father. The Princess Bride features two battling Renaissance-era countries located in Europe, somewhere between Sweden and Germany. This terrific tale brings us such memorable locations as the Cliffs of Insanity, The Cliffs of Insanity! and the Fire Swamp. By the way, watch out for the rodents of unusual size. Rodents of unusual size? I don't think they exist. <laughs> Number 8. Toontown from Who Framed Roger Rabbit Located near Los Angeles, California, this town can only be accessed by tunnel and is home to all the world's cartoon characters. Not only is this town drawn, painted, and animated, but it also has an almost dreamlike atmosphere. And guess what? All the buildings and cars are alive with their own personalities, too. Number 7. Neverland from Peter Pan Pirates, Indians, mermaids, fairies, and a tribe of lost boys who never want to grow up. Neverland is that place you can only get to by journeying toward the second star to the right and straight on till morning. It's a large island surrounded by water, and its most spectacular locations include Skull Rock, the Lost Boys Hideout, Mermaid Lagoon, and Pirate's Cove. Number 6. The Wizarding World from Harry Potter Though wizards and non-wizards do coexist, there is a separate wizarding world hidden from muggles by charms, spells, and secrecy. Witches and wizards are governed by the Ministry of Magic and live within villages like Hogsmeade and Godric's Hollow. Those places are cool, but we're most enthused about Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Floating candles, messenger owls, tables filled with never-ending food, need we say more? Number 5. Labyrinth from Labyrinth this world is a Jim Henson creation made up of practical effects and puppets. Come inside and have a nice cup of tea. And David Bowie as king. The Goblin King, that is. <laughs> Shut up. After snatching a girl's baby brother, he forces her to make her way to his castle, which is inconveniently located at the center of a giant maze. Well, the only way out of here is to try one of these doors. One of them leads to the castle at the center of the labyrinth, and the other one leads to... Ba -ba -ba -bum. Certain death! Ooh. The fantastical locations found in Labyrinth include the bog, the goblin city, and a staircase-filled puzzle room. Number 4. Wonderland from Alice in Wonderland If I had a world of my own, everything would be nonsense. You knew we'd be headed down the rabbit hole sooner or later. This world is a creation of author Lewis Carroll, and it has been adapted to film many times, each time getting curiouser and curiouser. This kooky and colorful place is packed with eccentric characters who have lost their minds. But all roads lead to the well-kept gardens and castle of the Queen of Hearts. Ah! With their heads! <laughs> Number 3. Fantasia from The NeverEnding Story Based on a German fantasy novel, this film series brings us the land of Fantasia. However, this imaginary place is in danger. Because the real world is losing their sense of imagination, Fantasia is slowly being destroyed by the nothing. The nothing is destroying our world. To save it, Bastion departs on a quest to give the childlike empress a name, and does so by traveling on the back of a dragon named Falcor. Number 2. Middle-earth from The Lord of the Rings Coming in a close second is a location found in Earth's fictional and distant past. Middle-earth is populated by such literary archetypes as hobbits, elves, and dwarves, and features gorgeous vistas like the Shire, as well as sprawling kingdoms. This place inspires generation after generation of nerds to take up role-playing. We're just glad Peter Jackson properly captured its majesty. You shall not pass! Number 1. 
The Land of Oz from The Wizard of Oz. Taking the top spot on our list is the land traversed by a yellow brick road. The Land of Oz is a rectangular place surrounded by desert on all sides. Witches live there, as do the Scarecrow, Tin Man, and a Cowardly Lion. From Munchkin Country to Emerald City, there are tons of sights to take in. We give Oz top honors for bringing color to an otherwise colorless world. Plus, there are flying monkeys. Now fly! Fly! With so many incredible fantasy worlds in television and film, we're sure we've missed a few. Which is your favorite? Thank you.